Okay, for today's battle, I have swapped the commands around. So, Howe and Cornwallis are on the board, and Niphausen is coming in from the flank. And he's actually coming in from this flank over here. Brandywine starts on turn four. Cornwallis is first. Start by truing in my divider. Next, Washington is drawn. All the Continental Artillery can see is that unit, but it's in the woods. No effect. Next, Sullivan is drawn. Sullivan's command is down here. I happen to have all the HQs right here. Sullivan holds. He's prepared to get hit. Green's command is here. He also holds. Last is Knipphausen, and he comes in from back here. Turn four, combat. Desperate fighting. Matthew's guards are destroyed, but the Colonials are also destroyed. That was Whiston's Ford. This is Jones' Ford. British have better luck forcing a crossing at Jones' Ford. That is the end of turn four. Turn five. Sullivan is drawn first. He reinforces Whiston's Ford. Nipphausen. Nipphausen advances towards Dilworth. Knox's artillery fires on the British crossing Jones Ford. Not driving them back, but they take some damage. Cornwallis is drawn. You guys are still spent. Washington is drawn last. Again, Knox fires on Jones Ford. Driving back half the British troops. So Maxwell's light and Armstrong's militia attacking the British grenadiers. Turn five combat. Near across Jones Ford. The militia are eliminated, and they are forced to retreat. Abercrombie's light, fighting Sterling's men. It's desperate, and both fight to the bitter end. Turn five is over, and we're beginning turn six. All three of the British elite blocks have been eliminated. Moves his artillery forward to better cover Jones Ford. Maxwell moves back up to his position. Detachments from the hinterlands are brought forward. Cornwallis deploys bags around Parkerville. Allows some troops to rally. Nafasin covers his right flank and moves the rest of his command down to descend on the Colonials from behind. Green's command is drawn. Being surrounded, he abandons Chad's Ford and piles forward as well and his position in the woods. His whole command comes racing northward. Sullivan's command. Sullivan has only one block left in his command. Everything else down here is Washington's. And he's lost two blocks. He holds. He stopped the British from crossing. What more do they want? Turn six ends with no combat. Turn seven. Nipphausen. His lead troops come out of the woods and catch the Colonials from behind. He protects his exposed flank as he brings his troops along the Brandywine. Green has the bulk of his command form up on the hilltops. The remaining command passes through. Washington guards his artillery on the hilltop. 
covering both Britain's Ford and Jones Ford. Ford's upstream here seems secured. Cornwallis. Any crossing of the Brandywine up here with his remaining blocks, this one can rally, is more likely to cause him casualties than the Colonials. His army is near breaking. I'm backing up here. Consider this an instructional moment. The Corps is exhausted. This means they can't recover from spent. His bags remain packed. Sullivan is drawn. Sullivan holds. There is no combat. Turn 8. Last turn. Green is drawn first. So Green will hold. Washington is drawn next. Pulaski's cavalry can race out and capture the other major road. Nathanson is drawn. That's all that he can do. That will be the decisive combat. Although, since the Colonials don't need to control that, they can just fall back. So they will need to survive the first round and then they can retreat. At this point, the disastrous attacks across the Brandywine early in the game get brought to the point that it is now down to a simple die roll. And the British are attacking uphill. The Colonials are doing well and try to hold the ground. They destroy another British unit. These are Ferguson's Highlanders. They're not going to back off. So no one captured any bags. So now we compare points. The British have lost three elite units and two regular blocks for a total of 19 points destroyed by the Colonials. The Colonials with two blocks and a block of militia have lost seven points. 19 to seven, the British fall back. They have lost this battle. Having taken heavy casualties to all of their best units. They're not going to stay for this. They're not going to drive on Philadelphia. Philadelphia has been saved. Good game.